like to clearly demonstrate the contribution of the chemical industry and of its products in responding to the challenges of the future. I think it is very important to be careful about the chemical industry. She is one of the biggest energy users. But if we punish them too strong, if we give them too much hurdles, then I think we go in dangerous that this industry is not competitive. Being uh, uh, directly and indirectly contributed to greenhouse gas emissions means also that there are enormous opportunities of course to to do better and to to help us solve the problem and um, this exhibition here today uh, shows a few examples that are that are very interesting indeed I see now this, uh, this whole sector as a partner in the debate and I hope in our political work we can uh, make this, uh, this engagement uh, more concrete and um, we are willing to invest uh, from the European Union in, uh, more and more in, uh, in, in research and I see here a lot of projects that might be supported from the unions. The chemical industry shows clearly, you see with this exhibition here in the premises of European Parliament, uh, that the European Parliament is one of the major policy makers and of course we need European enterprises, chemical industry and others as well, you see, uh, to uh, show us the technical solutions which are necessary. Well, the chemical industry started in Europe about 150 years ago, then went to the United States, and it's now on its way through the Middle East to the Pacific. So this is probably one of the few industries which is truly global, with global players, with global technologies, with global solutions, but at the same time, they are very powerful also in various parts of the world. If we look at the CO2 emissions, Roughly, we can say that one-third comes from industry, one-third comes from transport, and one-third comes from housing. That's why the information you have here around you is so extremely important. Because we will never ever be able to solve the competitiveness issue or the climate issue if we don't address housing. As in the past, the chemical industry will be key partner into the automotive industry and help create solutions that allow us to improve our mobility and above all to improve our mobility in a responsible and sustainable way in the future. Who 
is going to administer this great ETS system? Uh, is it going to be one man and a dog in the European Commission, which I suspect is partly the case at the moment? He may be here tonight. The man, I mean, not the dog. <laughs> Nous avons la commission environnement qui est très forte euh, au sein du PPE et nous avons la commission industrie. Donc euh, ces deux commissions, ne... c'est le vrai débat et je crois que ce débat doit avoir lieu. We support the goals of the Kyoto Protocol and see climate protection as a global challenge that calls for global strategies. That is why we need to take a global view. The positive things that the chemical industry are doing to find solutions to the problems that we face and also their desire to be seen as part of the solution, not just a problem. And maybe it's up to us now as members of the parliament to be more aware and to be more involved with industry as regards how best we can jointly tackle the problems that we're facing. We were very honoured to be hosted by the European Parliament here in Strasbourg on that occasion uh, to have that exhibition uh, and uh, allow uh, our companies uh, who were committed to that uh, presenting their innovations, their products, which can make a difference. To launch the discussion um, a little bit, I think um, uh, three subjects are uh, extremely important um, uh, to us uh, tonight. Um, first is the, the concept of um, uh, better regulation. Second point uh, that is um, uh, important, uh, I think, is uh, the, the link uh, uh, between innovation and uh, our research uh, programs. The last point, uh, companies should be um, uh, responsible.